Okay, so let's. Uh, oh my god, I can't stop looking at this. Woo! Okay, this is how it comes. So let's uh, look at this first. Yeah, those boxes, those containers are really nice. Mm, smells, smells good too. It smells new. It's been long I smelled one of those. Mm. Okay. This is your mat box. Okay. Um. Here we go. Not too bad. You know, I never really seen the tilter one, so I can't really judge how this is, but very light. I don't know. This is light. <laughs> oh my god. It's like it's like breeze. Wait. This is lighter. <laughs> oh, they're about to say. I can't tell. Okay. Okay, they're about the same. They're about the same weight. Wow! But this just feels like a feather in my hands. Wow, 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 wow. This is nice, this is nice. I can't wait to rock it. Uh, you know what? This is really lovely. I'm going to put it away. I'm going to store it away. These things are worth keeping. All right, so here are the mounts. I see two here. Hopefully there are two in each of them. Okay. Adapter ring two. And okay, there's two two of them. Two X. Two X. So that will be the four rings. Now let's uh say I open this guy. Wow, you can't believe how my god, what's going on? We are getting gimbals that are lightweight and mat boxes that are featherweight. Woo! Man! Who doesn't want COVID? Let's take a look at this. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is some... <laughs> this is carbon fiber finish. Wow! I think this is a clip to open up. Oh my God. Uh, good news and bad news. The bad news first, my Blackmagic Pocket 4K uh, is gone. Not lost, not stolen, but um, I sold it. <laughs> Trust me, it's bad news because I really didn't want to let that camera go. I had planned to keep it you know, along whatever I get, but I had to make a smart decision. I, I have, to, I'm recording this on the FS5 right now. That camera, it's pretty expensive. It's my film school camera and it's just losing, not being used. So I, I want to get myself to the point where I really need to use it. So, but, it, but the good news is that uh, there's an upgrade coming and you, you need to you need to hold on for that okay or uh, maybe the next video maybe the next video i'll show you what's coming okay but then again i can um i really don't have something right now to uh, mount this on and test it but uh, this week probably my next video we will see the camera that is coming in place of the Pocket 4K. And you can go ahead and guess in the comments below why we go ahead with this one. All right. 
Okay, so let's. Uh, oh my god, I can't stop looking at this. Woo! Let's let's check this out. Sealed. We'll break it open. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, we have a small rig is faithful to this. The Allen keys. Okay. Oh, 77 and 67 in one pack, 82 and 72 in the other pack. Let me just make a try, a trial here. This is the Carl Zeiss 35 to 70. Okay, 3.4, it's a very sharp lens, review for that coming. I'm gonna keep it open, get this one in first, and then you lock it up. I can use it on the Sony if I'm doing project with that, but it's gonna be majorly for the camera that's coming. <laughs> guess, guess, get what camera? 2021. Nice job, Smarik. Okay, I think we touched it all. Okay, let's talk about this guy. Rail clamp. To attach this one to a rod. Do I have a rod close by? I shoot. To attach this one to a rod. And clamp it up. And then keep it locked in here. Say something like this instead. It will be attached to the rails, so it will have a grip on the rails. This will be hold the other one. Something like this. Okay, so and be able to. The good thing is it can come up and go down to, to allow for your. Um, gear setup system, follow focus and spacing for your lens that you need. But I think uh, this very well meets up the standard out there. Besides that it, it doesn't come with uh, filters like the Polar Pro, that's where that stands out. But this is uh, definitely um, a good option for 99 bucks. Man, well with this one, this was about 29 so probably like a hundred and 20 or 119 bucks or something like that and then it takes two filter trays oh let's talk about that so we're gonna exact some force on it ah here we go what's messing up with me don't mess up now Needs a little bit of push. Yeah, now it's now it's flowing better. Okay, first time was very. Okay, so filters going here. Two filters. Hmm. And then you have it marked one and two, depending on the filter you are using. You lock it down. This is so smart. This is so cool. Let's try, let's try. I have one of my old filters here. 
and four by four filters. You all know this filter. <laughs> this old school filter. Okay. So if we want to take a tray one, I don't know if you can see it. If you can see, I don't think you can see, but there are two slides. So you take the slide and put the first one. Uh, we should be able to do it here without. Will it cover? Whoa. Mm. How does this play out? I mean, that's what I think I'll be going for the 4x5.65. Um, yeah. So let's try this again. Okay. Yeah, so it works. It covers the lens. I don't think uh, I don't think there's any lens that will come out beyond that. You just slide it. You just slide it to keep it in the center, so it best covers the lens, whatever lens you're using. So I think it works. That should do. That should do the job. And then keep it closed. So, but for now. Before we go, let's uh, officially launch this guy and get this guy popping. All right, I got it. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh feels good. All right, guys, I think we've done all we need to do on camera today. Thank you guys for watching. As always, catch you on the next one.